the benefit of resurrection. That Jesus Christ in, in the morning service, we have read from Matthew 50, from Matthew 28, we read. Can I do Matthew? Because that is what happened on Monday, on Sunday morning. Your Messiah. My Messiah. Your God. Your God. Resurrected. And the Bible says, the angel spoke. We have read that the angel came and rolled away the stone. So be assured that as we are building your relationship with Jesus, every one of us, we have to keep on knowing Jesus daily. Every day of my life, I'm still knowing him. I cannot tell you I'm 100% complete knowing him. I'm still knowing Jesus. As I'm, and I will still keep on knowing him. The more you know about him, the more you know you don't know him. Don't tell you to say, I'm a Christian, don't you know I know God. It's actually an evidence that you don't know him. It's to tell me that you are ignorant of him. Hey, the more you know him, the more you know his power. The more you know his love, the more you know his grace, the more deeper you know, the more you realize. I said to myself, I said, I realize how much I did not know. I said, God, give me grace daily to know you. Every day of your life, you must begin to cultivate a dynamic, active, active grace to know Jesus. You need to know him. Can you look for somebody say, look at that person face to face and say, you need to know him better. Say to yourself, say, God, help me to know you better. Better, 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 better. Actually, with the more of God you know, the more of Him you form in your life. See, God is not going to force any one of us that I am Jesus to receive me doing my work. No, no, no. He has given you right to choose. The way my way, the way Mary Magdalene came, he got to know the angel spoke to him. After he has rolled away the stone. <laughs> when you see the, the, the president going, there's what we call a divine entourage. The angel came, and as the angel came, as the angel came, he bowed down for the Messiah, and the Messiah will walk out. Can you imagine the way Jesus will walk out of the grave? He walk out. He said it. Thank you. He walk out as a king. He walk out as a god. He said, "Look at me. Walk out with all the powers. He never honored. I defeat death. I defeat shame. I defeat limit." Knowing Jesus matters. <laughs> Hello? Know right. what? The reason why you can't serve God is because you don't know him. The reason why you think you have to plan every plan and let God be at those uh, space time. Spare time. Ah, yeah. Spare time. Do you understand your spare time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your free time. Thank so you, your free time. time. You know. The time I'm not doing everything. The time I'm, there's all the offices are closed. No job. I think I can think about him. It's because you don't know him. If you know him as the author of your life, the owner of your life, your creator, the man of God that ministered yesterday, he made us to know what God cannot give you. Satan cannot give you. Anything God cannot give you, nobody can give you. What God cannot do in your life, no one can do in your life. People of God, I want you to know Jesus through the power of resurrection. Without resurrection, your faith and my faith is empty. Without resurrection, the enemy should have ruled upon us. But thanks be to God who has crossed the end of the Sabbath. What apostle? He wrote more than the fifty percent of the New Testament. <laughs> he, 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 he is the one that explained about the gift of the Spirit. <laughs> How the Church of our Lord Jesus Christ is supposed to be ruled? <laughs> the same Paul Apostle, <laughs> former Saul, that <laughs> met Christ <laughs> on his way to Damascus, is <laughs> <He's> an educational <laughs> <airlight>. <laughs> He has studied the Lord. 
lawyer. By, by, the, by the time he met Jesus <inaudible> on his way to Damascus, <inaudible> when he rose up, <inaudible> his physical eyes he <inaudible> grew blind. <inaudible> Maybe the reason why you have not known Jesus is because your physical <inaudible> eyes <inaudible> is too <inaudible> active. <inaudible> You are sitting deep in looking at the things of this world. Lot wife, don't that and he perish. Your eyes must be the Christ. This is Paul. He, that, he, he founded many churches and he made the people like Peter, like, like, like Timothy, not Peter, Timothy, Titus, and so on. This is Paul. He, he got to a place in the journey of his life. He said that he may know him. Know Jesus. Know Jesus. Do you know that many people know pastor, they don't know Jesus. Many times I wept when I look at people, they want to see pastor. And so what they do is they come after service. They come after service. The Lord spoke to me, Esther, beware. Don't let these people kill you. Don't let them place you before me. I am the one that died for my church. Any pastor that doesn't want to die, you don't place yourself in place of Christ. Then as a people of God, if you want to see pastor, you don't come and attend service. Then, before you realize after service, I'm already going. I tell my can go. Let you know that Jesus Christ, know him, bring blessings to your life. Know him, open the door of blessings for you. Knowing Jesus Christ, when you know him, I love what Anna said. You know, <laughs> Bible is the authority of the scripture. Hello, sir. The authority of the scripture is one of the major ways to know Jesus Christ. Paul said you want to know him and the power of his resurrection. It means resurrection as power, sir. Resurrection as what? The Christianity is not a religion. That's why that's why those that are in religion, the religion leader cannot resurrect it. Go and find out. No religion leader died and resurrected. Go and study history. Go and study philosophy. There's no religion leaders. They die. The grave too, the grave too cold on them. The death swallowed them. Up to today, many of them, hundred, ten years ago, twenty years ago, fifty years ago, the grave swallowed them. And they are going to be released during the rapture. After Jesus Christ has taken his church, the rapture will take place. And the Bible says the dead will fall. Me. Those that does not know Jesus, they will apply, they will apply before the judgment throne. But that's not where we are going. There's a power in the resurrection. This power can change your story. This power can take away your body. This power. Power is ability to do. Power, you know, there are some areas of my life that have seen the power of God in action. When power of God is at work in your life, it's not you again. The Holy Spirit told me one day, he said, begin to pray. It's years, years back, going more than 20 years ago. More than 20 plus years ago. He said, pray. And I was praying. I was praying. Because I was, I was nine, I was already 13 weeks, nine months pregnant. I was just in prayer. I said, I need to go to the toilet. I said, I said, knowing God, may God give you an experience to know him. May the Lord slap you with possibilities. So I will make you to know God. This God is able. This God is great. This God is mighty. This God is able to, to, to put the enemy under your feet. I sense a little blood. Before I realize Life, I said there is a stone between my two <laughs> and the Holy Spirit said better lie down yourself and before I realized the Holy Spirit said I'm going to count one two three okay he counted it power there is a power in resurrection the 
Yeah. 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 But it just between two, three minutes. The edge is out. My husband was washing film. I said, Don't wash film. Then the water that came out of my body. He said, say, You have just bathed. I need to Water was coming. I said, God, what is this? He said, I'm calling again. When he saw, he said, Eh? And you are praying. What kind of prayer is this? My God, he was angry. He said, I don't understand this kind of prayer. Why can't you pray it in the hospital? Yeah. I said, I realized he said, Go and call the neighbor. What the neighbor said, Hey, Vas, on the opposite, he's calling me. He takes the phone under four minutes. I have four they were coming. But before they come, the Holy Spirit has already said, I'm counting ABC. And the baby come I will just look. I mean, on the before five minutes, I see the nurses, they dress. When they come, immediately, they cut them, they carry the baby. They talk to me, are you fine? I say, I am 100% fine. Then, we get to the hospital. Power of God! I don't take credit for what I'm telling you. When we got to the hospital, the placenta came out. In the next 10 minutes, I'm already in my, they push me in their room, they put the baby in the kinder center. I now sat there. I said, God, 15 minutes ago, I was still with the baby. And as I'm strong just like this, normally when you have the baby, you feel pain. The first baby you make, you have pain. I stood up. I said, am I normal? I said, God, I believe I am normal. I said, God, I'm not talking about power of resurrection. I don't take credit for this. And I stood up. I said, God, I just want to be watching. And I was walking in the, pa in the passage of the Clement Hospital. I was walking. I was, and I saw two Two or three doctors, they, doctors they bypassed me. Oh, I was just a god and grateful. They bypassed me. I go. I didn't know they were looking for me. When they end, they said, Where is the woman they use ambulance to go? They said, Don't you see that African woman you saw? They said, We saw one woman talking. No, no, I don't see. Then I came back. They said, We are looking for you. I said, I didn't know. Power. To me. By word of God, to me, I can turn you. your life to a miracle. To me, that your life will surprise you. By word of God, 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 make impossibility to be possible. By word of God, God, I want you to see the testimony of Anna. When I read the testimony of Anna, he revealed the power of resurrection. Where have you been cheated? Where have you been denied? Where have you been deprived? Where have you where have you sent? Somebody told me that Pastor, if I am in where I was born, I know my life can be better. Yes, you are in Europe. Where the power of resurrection he can restore. He can restore you. Your life cannot be what you're supposed to have. Even when you are in Ghana, when you are in Nigeria, when you are in Cameroon, it doesn't matter you, he can be restored. I say you 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 can be restored. Are you ready to be restored? Power of resurrection is at the fellowship of his suffering. And that is fail in the church. Fellowship of his suffering. Baptism of sovereign is gone in the church. Nobody wants to take his thought. Nobody wants to ah. Many times people even thought it's only angel that come to church. That's a lie. There's no angel in the church. Even devil come to the church. You know why he comes? So that he can use the soulish Christian. Carnal Christian. To take you out of church. Because you know when he take you out of church. You will be denied of the power of resurrection. And when that power is not at your work. At your life. You will not know what you are doing. I came home three days I'm at home. Even the second day I wanted to come. Hey, they said the baby must do the test for the third day. When I came home, I burst into a cry. I burst into crying. I said, can your power make 
You know, when you just have the baby, there's some weakness to have in the body. Can I tell you, I am as strong as just like this. I go up and down. I am fine. I don't say that is power. I don't know why you want God to come through for you. This power has a benefit to protect you, to restore you, to follow you. So we, I'm here to give you a balance. A balance. A balance. A balance where you're supposed to be in the journey of life. Some of us, we will need a character balance. And unless in churches we have character disorder. <laughs> character what? We need to know. <laughs> Excellence in the character. <laughs> Building the character of suffer for Jesus. <laughs> suffer for Jesus. <laughs> if he can give him his, his, his own life. <laughs> so that we can have the benefit. <laughs> what do you have that he has not given you? <laughs> that you cannot use it to serve him. I've been to the Lord and said, God, whatever I cannot used to serve you. God, don't give me. Every money that is too much, that cannot pay the tithe, that I will not become God and robbers. I say, God, don't give, I, I don't want it. Any position that we have in life, that I will not do the will of God. I say, I don't want to have a ministry of this of suffering. Can you serve that for Christ? When Jesus Christ says something, I'm so, it shocked me. When he said the seven out and the twelve. Uh, he bro, said, he said, me, no. he said, when you go, say, take no money for yourself. Say, take no purse. Say, take no second clothes. He said, the laborers are worthy of his wages. Say, you enter a town now. Before I come to your house to preach, you have already eat. And, I'm, I'm, and my father, my master told me I should go without food. Teaching me self. <laughs> Teaching me self control. Maybe you are just really speaking. And you are waiting to buy food for the tomorrow before you eat. And I'm coming to you and preach. I pray. And you say, Pastor, sorry. We before we can produce anything will be tomorrow. God is teaching a ministry of suffering. Can you suffer for Christ? Power of resurrection. We empower you to, to be able to be what you need to be. That's why every children of God must walk in forgiveness, fellowship of his suffering. What are you suffering for? Christ? Some of you, you know that you walk. When you walk on Sunday, they will give you more money. Suffering, so let your pockets suffer. Come and wash it. Do your work Monday to Saturday. That single day. I was reading the life of of of, of John. He said he's in the spirit on the day of the law. He's in the book of Revelation. The time we don't permit me to show it. If this today is Sunday, Sabbath day, is the day of the law. You must be in the spirit. You are not even allowed a born again Christian. It's not the day you bow for money. Money is good. I'm not going against money. I'm not preaching laziness to you. God encouraged us to be at work. Fellowship of his suffering. Can you suffer for Christ? That rich man, the Bible called him fool. Because he met the best pastor on earth. He had access to, have, uh, to, to contact Jesus face to face. And Jesus said, You don't know why you are very rich. You are gifted. You are rich. Everything you have, God bring it and give it out. He said, hey, Fellowship of his suffering. Suffer for Christ. Suffer for Christ. Suffer for Christ. To do the right thing, even when even when you are being opposed, do the right thing. Even when you are not applauded, do the right thing. Even when people, other people are being oppressed, are being pressed for what you do. Fellowship of his suffering is a being made conformable unto his death. It means developing the character of God. Any type of Christian. 
We have a spiritual Christian. The spiritual Christian are those that worship God in spirit and in truth. We have them in the church. They are the one you see in Bible study. They are the one you see in prayer church. They don't ignore spiritual things. They realize that their spirit they live in this body. They concentrate on the spirit. And we have what we call a kind of Christian. But I'm every kind of Christian, the power of resurrection. We want you to become a spiritual Christian. The, the kind of Christian they pay attention to kind of thing. They actually they ignore spiritual matters. That matter. Spiritual things make no sense to them. They, they don't know. And we also have a fleshy Christian. A fleshy Christian is a Christian that is being led by the by their will, by the emotion. Oh, they, are, they are intellectual Christians. Intellectual Christians. And what I think, what I feel, it, it, it is my will, it is my emotion. They are being led. It is the emotion that dictates. I pray that the power of resurrection will enter your life. Because when God is going to deal with you, God is a spirit. He's not going to download any blessing to you through your spirit or to your soul. God is a spirit. He said, those that worship him, he worship him uh, in spirit and in truth. The Bible says the spirit of a man uh, is the title of the Lord. He speaks from your spirit. Every blessing that he wants to give you, he wants to give you divine protection. He wants to give you divine favor. He wants to give you divine direction. He wants to give you open arrow. He wants to restore by the year that the locusts uh, and the cannabis are eating. But he must minister to you through your spirit. Finally, the book of First Samuel chapter 2. I love the power of restoration. Anna, Anna give a witness of what the Lord has done. Verse 2, verse two says, if there's no only as the law, for there's no beside the net, neither is there any rock like our God. One more fast. It means he began to talk. When you keep on reading it, he let us to know that the Lord is weighed your action. Power of resurrection will give you a clear action, a godly character. So just leave it to verse 4 alone. He said, The bar for he said, The bones of the mighty men are broken. And they that stumble are guided with strength. Power of resurrection. Power of resurrection. Scatter any mighty men. It is the power of resurrection. That can correct every any deficit in your life. Let's rise up the time is against us. That clapping is on the Jesus. That clapping is on the Jesus. Power of resurrection. Help you to seek him. Let's pray right now. Let's pray from the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 26, verse 5. Second Chronicles 26, 5. Second Chronicles. Thank you. Can we use it to pray? Takoro to Kalashakala. I wait here. Second Chronicle 26 5 says, and he sought God in the days of Sekalah. Who had understanding in the vision of God? When we are going to be as long as he sought the Lord. The word, the word sought is the past tense of seek. It's a, and I say pray, I'm bringing it to prayer. As long as he seek the Lord, God made him prosper. It means I believe everyone here spiritually you want to prosper. You are so they need legal prosperity, marital prosperity, business prosperity. It is possible. You say we may my father, my father, my father. My father, my father, my father. Let the power of resurrection give me grace to seek you, to serve you, and to love you. Help me to pray in the name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus, name in Jesus, name in Jesus. Father, let the power of resurrection give us grace to serve you, to love you. Let us Father, transform your church. 
Jesus mighty name we pray Power of resurrection Resurrect any dead situation in my life By this time 2023 Easter Don't me to a mega testimony Call my life to a mega testimony Lift up your hands and begin to pray
Even that we have in you, that you as we have prayed according to his will, he has answered our prayer. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Let somebody shout, Hallelujah.